I'm Reese, and this is Matt, and we are the Psycar Guys. We're known as the Psycar Guys because we spent the last five years exploring the world on motorcycles with sidecars. From climbing our way through the Andes to scooting the Sahara, and most recently off roading across the USA, we've been lucky enough to ride some of the most scenic environments on planet Earth. But that means most of our adventures have been overseas, and as a result, we've taken more than 20 international flights, meaning our carbon footprint is pretty high. Whilst we love travelling the world by three wheels, you could say we've been guilty of ignoring what adventures can be had in our own backyard. So for our most recent trip, we teamed up with the BMIC and decided to stick to UK soil. Having met incredible people all across the globe, we wanted to find out what the motorcycle community was all about while asking the crucial question, can you have an adventure in the UK? Well, here we go then, mate. Off on the road again. Yeah. Exciting stuff. What are you looking forward to most, mate? Um, um, just being back on the road with my best bud. Great. We were off, heading southwest to start. The plan was a 1,000 mile long trip down through the UK, heading to Wales, Devon, up through the Cotswolds, Nottinghamshire, before finally returning to our Northeast Experience Centre. And first on the journey, we were heading towards the North Pennines. Wow, mate, I was not expecting this. What are we? An hour and a half drive from home, and I can see Snow Cap Mountain. It's unbelievable. I genuinely did not expect that today. In what felt like a stone's throw away from our Northeast base, was the incredibly scenic North Pennine, and located on the coast-to-coast -coast cycle path, just outside of Nen Head, was Hags Bank Bunkhouse. Here we'd arranged to meet up with Danny from Hags Bank and JP from the Overlands Guide Association for a ride up to the highest green lane in all of England. And luckily for us, we'd arrived in perfect sidecar weather. Well, we've just made Hags Bank, where we're stopping this evening, and uh, we're going to be on the trails in a second. It's April. And it's snowing and sleeting. highest untarmacked road in England and it was an old military road used for the tanks. Flipping heck. Yeah. As you can see the sun always shines up here <laughs> and great views. Oh yes! That is it. Come on, you, you always had access to all these lanes, has it it's been the same? Is it threatened? It, it, no, it's threatened and yeah. they're shutting some of the, the best lanes off but we've just got to make the best of what we can and it's, you know, it's a great experience what we've got here. In this location, specifically around Hags Bank, has got some of the, the least frequented lanes oh. of all of Cumbria. So if you travel over to the western side of Cumbria, you, there's nowhere you can go where there's, there's loads of walkers. You can't go anywhere where it's, it's busy. But here, as you've seen today, I know it's a bit of a hostile weather conditions, a bit, <laughs> a bit, a bit, a bit wintry. But still over in Cumbria today, it'll be, it'll be heaving still, yeah. Yeah. wouldn't it? Where here, it's perfect. So for trail riding, you, yeah. can't, you can't beat this location. I think, personally, the reason why I run courses here is because we can go off and do so much and not have any trouble. Having climbed up the highest unpaved road in all of England, it was very clear to us why you'd choose to trail ride in the North Pennines. And in a way, it felt like a spot many were yet to realise was there to explore. 
as we climbed down back towards Hagsbank, we were finally treated with the incredible views we were hoping for on our first day on the road. Could we have an adventure in the UK? Well, after only one day, we'd seen unexpected snowfall, mountainous climbs, and some pretty spectacular scenery, so the North Pennines was a pretty good start. You're on brand this morning, mate. I'm always on brand. Double euro. <laughs> Double euro. <yeah. laughs> they paid you for that. Uh, no, but they did give me it in fairness. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there you go. So I'm nice. actually can't talk, can I? No, you are. Well, yeah. well. yeah. Alright, yeah. JP. T-shirts. T-shirts. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got, mate? Wow. Look I'm at this. Oh, look at this, this mate. <laughs> Right, we're talking about being on brand. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm yeah. I've been looking after a new hatch, you mate. Yeah. <laughs> this is ideal. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. New sponsors, mate. Yeah, and that's perfect. how easy it is to back the sidecar guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who wants to give away any free merch out there, we're here waiting. Yeah, that's <laughs> ideal. Yeah. Feeling fresher than anticipated with our luxury new clothing brand, Hags Bank. It was time to continue on with the journey. Danny and JP escorted us through some final green lanes and they left the best till last, overlooking Cumbria's Heartside Pass. Probably have just done the most picturesque green lane I've ever done on a sidecar or on a solo bike as you're coming down. This is the view. Right, mate, thanks so much. <laughs> thanks, dude. Thank you so much. We bid farewell to the guys and we're on our way south along the thrilling MC. It had been a cracking start to the UK trip. And for the next chapter, we'd be crossing borders, heading for the Welsh Valley. Look at this landscape, mate. It's lovely rolling Welsh hills. I know, it's a real treat, isn't it? Yeah. Snow-capped peak there to our left. I wonder if it's like a mentionable mountain or if it's just a hill. 